What's up YouTube? Um, so this is video number two for this week. I'm pretty excited. Uh, this is something near and dear to my own heart and you're all gonna think I'm weird. But today I'm gonna do some water bottle reviews and comparisons. Yeah, I'm being quiet. We've got neighbors. It's kind of late and I'm in this weird little closet area thing room full of doors so I just wanted to do this video I'm really I'm if you can't tell I'm really excited about it it's been something I've really wanted to do for a while uh, since I've started and going into it I knew I really like water bottles so this is gonna be just kind of a sporadic little series today I'm doing four water bottles that I use <clears throat> very very regularly so we'll start off with the one I use probably the least. So I'm going to go from least to most used. Least. Classic Nalgene water bottle, 32 ounces. You can't really go wrong. It's just hard plastic, no AB, or ABS, no ABS, whichever one is the good one. I can never remember. I'm not that conscious about what's in my water bottles, but I know that it's safe and it's healthy. Um, so really solid, the old classic twist off the top, you've got access to your water. So it's a water bottle, nothing too crazy. But 10 bucks for an algae, 32 ounces of water. I mean, that's a pretty good price. You can throw this in any backpack, whatever, and you've got just a lot of water. I mean, it doesn't keep it cold, no special features like some of the other water bottles that I'm going to talk about here in a minute. So, Nalgene 32 ounce. Love this water bottle. Couldn't recommend it more for a budget. If you've got a little bit more to spend, I'm going to say the Camelback Eddy, and I have the insulated. So there's two little bottles. So this keeps it a little bit colder. You've got the flip top so you're not unscrewing anything. You just drink it out of a straw. You can take all of this apart. Yeah, I'm going into water bottles. It's so exciting, I know. Clean the straw, clean the lid, get new mouthpieces, whatever you need. So there's a little bit more maintenance involved with these if you want to keep them nice. And yeah, I sticker bomb my water bottles a lot. Batman, favorite superhero. Uh, all time lows like my favorite band, Tom's, Neff, all of my brands that I go to. So, Camelback Eddie's super solid, especially if you get the insulated, because it is going to keep it colder a little bit longer. Not as good as some of the other water bottles that I've seen. So that's my next one, and I've had this guy for like four years about and it's still like I've dropped it a ton no cracks nothing can be dishwashed throw it in the dishwasher wash it super good water bottle love it <clears throat> loved it for a long time I'm a huge water bottle nerd and that's such a weird thing to be nerdy about uh, the next one is one that my sister recommended and it is the Life Factory bottle, and this is a 22 ounce, 20 ounce, 22 ounce. And what I love about these is that the glass, the glass part, these are all glass with a rubber f rubber grip on the outside, rubber wrap. The glass is made in France, not something you see very often. And this rubber, the silicone on it, is made in the United States. So if you want to buy something a little more local, like as local as you can really get in the economy we have today, this is pretty good. I mean, France and the United States, so it's not made in China. If you're trying not to just buy all of your stuff from China, some people are. This is a fantastic water bottle. And no, it's not insulated. It sweats really bad. So if you don't want the condensation, not a good choice and if you don't want to spend 20 bucks plus not a good choice so like the Nalgene 10 Camelback is like 15 to 20 and these are like 20 to 30 but they're glass so they're solid I've had one break on me but it dropped from the side of a truck so it wasn't like 
it just broke. They're pretty durable. You do you have to be careful. They're glass. So if they do break, you've got a huge mess. But if you're careful with them and take care of them, I have two of these. And I love them. They're some of my favorite water bottles. They're just not my go-to currently. And that's just because I need something that'll keep my water cold for a very long time. Especially now we're in summertime. But I've taken these kayaking and it's it's so great when you go kayaking because you can like you can see how much water you have left. It's a little bit easier to kind of monitor how much monitor how much water you have on a trip, whether you're hiking, kayaking, whatever, doing something outside. So these are fantastic. They just they're not insulated. So keep that in mind and their glass condensation will be a factor. So you wouldn't want to throw this in like a tech bag with you because I don't use this in my tech bag because I can't have condensation getting on computer, tablet, all my all my stuff I take with me. I cannot have that stuff getting wet. So this does not make it into my tech bag, but it makes it when I go on like long trips or I'm just going overnight somewhere or I'm taking clothes. So <clears throat> Life Factory, great company. They also make baby bottles. So I got those for my sister and she loves them. So they make all kinds of stuff. They're crazy. They also do wine glasses and cups just, and they're all glass with the silicone wrap to make them a little more shatter resistant. Not shatter proof, shatter resistant. And this is my last one. This is my favorite. This is my baby. It's really dinged up and you're gonna see that, but this is my hydro flask. So you can see it's got some it's got some dents going on, some scratches in the paint on the bottom. And this is made in China, but designed in Bend, Oregon. So designed in the United States, just they're put together in China. And that's also getting way more common. But these are vacuum sealed, so if you use your uh, Yetis, these are similar to Yetis. So they've got the 24 hours, here's the cap. So it's an interesting design because it sits in instead of on and then seals. And these don't have any condensation. But if you like Yetis, these are really great because it is keeps your water cold for 24 hours, will keep things hot for 12. I'm currently only using it for cold. This doesn't, no, like I said, no condensation. I can throw this in my tech bag, no issues. Not gonna get anything wet. And it seals very tight, even after being dropped. I've had this for six months, maybe more than six months. I'm not really sure, I've been keeping track. But, yeah. However, as I said, it went from least used to most used. It also went from least expensive to most expensive. These are going to run you 40 plus. Pretty much. Even for like a small one like this, they're about 35-ish. But Hydro Flask, I mean, everyone knows about Hydro Flask at this point. They're all over the place and they're fantastic. So check these out, pick them up. Um, I'll have links to each one in the bottom. And like I said, like and subscribe. I'm gonna be doing water bottle reviews because I'm always getting more water bottles. I love them. I don't know why my wife picks on me because I have too many. Cause she'll t we have like a cupboard and I just have it full of my water bottles. So I have more than this, but these are the four that I use regularly. And this is the one that I take with me everywhere right now. It's got so many dings because it keeps falling out of my backpack and onto the concrete and tile and whatever else and denting and it's really getting on my nerves but it's still holding up so like I said my number one pick Hydro Flask number two pick Life Factory number three pick would be Camelback Eddie if you can see that Eddie and my last pick great for a budget honestly just a, if, if you like water bottles or like need a, a just a solid water bottle 10 bucks now gee so 
check them out. All the links in the description. And yeah, keep coming back for more. Subscribe, like, and I will talk to you guys later.